Amen. Good morning, and uh, whatever time it is in your country, uh, we want to uh, uh, speak to our hearts this morning from the Word of God. I, it is morning in my country, so, and we are excited that the Lord has given us life and the hope of eternity. We are so grateful for what the Lord is doing, and we are encouraged. Hallelujah. Uh, to be remnants of God's people, even at such a moment in the world. And I want to encourage us that, uh, you know, uh, I'm looking at the scriptures, uh, Jesus uh, praying for us. You know, he prayed for the apostles that were present with him that time. And he said, I have not just prayed for you. I'm not just praying for you, but even to those who will believe. Hallelujah. So even us right now, <clears throat> we have been uh, prayed for by Christ. And we are so excited that the Lord is on our side hallelujah so we have been talking uh and we shall be on uh online for a few minutes it is morning my country and we have been reminding ourselves some things as the church of jesus christ because let me tell you my brethren uh, we must be uh, acquainted with with our kingdom. We must be acquainted. Kaidre, when you come online, Kaidre, share the word of God, share the video so that others can be blessed too with us. Miriam, Kaidre, I see you have woken up. Share the video. Um, uh, let us let us be acquainted. Let us be acquainted with the desire of God, the desire of God, and let us uh, be acquainted with His will. And I want the church to know that the will of God is not in heaven. Hallelujah! It is here with us because the scriptures, the word of God, is His will. We we have we we have what it takes to know uh, the seasons of God because the Spirit of God, as we spoke last time, uh, when we were getting reminded of the things of these things that God desires that we know, or we be reminded if we know, is that this Holy Spirit is there. Jesus says, "I'm not going to leave you as orphans. I'm going, and I'm not going to leave you as orphans. The Helper will come." So we have the Spirit of God, and this Spirit of God is not, you know, is not outside us. He indwells us. And that means we are able to 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 get hold of the mind of God, because the Bible says the Spirit of God searches all things. Uh, he is able to get hold of the mind of God. Hallelujah and to download that to us by the grace of God in the name of Jesus. Amen. I, I'm being reminded of something by the Spirit of God where I'm seated and uh, you know the Spirit of God is reminding me. Now if, if, you are, if your house or if your, if your office uh, has, has internet connectivity if, if the internet is off if, uh, if, the, if you, you have a phone you know that is that can connect to the internet or get um, you know get connected to the internet. If you don't I, if you don't do that, you know, as a person, the phone will not automatically connect to the internet. There is the procedure. There is what you are supposed to do. There, you plug in, you know, you plug in, you know, if, if there is power, you know, electricity, you know, in your house and and, uh, and you don't put on the switch, hallelujah, the power is there, but you don't put on the switch, then you cannot get access to the power. Now, these are the things that the Lord desires that we may be reminded on so that we can get hold of that which God is doing at this particular moment. And my brethren, you have your part to, you know, you have your part to, to, to pray. You have your role to pray. You have your, you, you, are, you have your part to do. You know, you have, that's what the Bible says. We are co-builders. We are co laborers We are working with God. Hallelujah. And I have said, if God wants to accomplish something, the Bible shows that in the book of Job. Hallelujah. 
hallelujah, that dream, God will work out all things with a man. Hallelujah. So God will build. God will build with us. Actually, the Bible says we are his building. So he expects that we are building with him. We are working with him. Hallelujah. So we have been having a journey of getting reminded of these things that God desires that we know, even as we live in this hour in the name of Jesus. And so today I'm going to put about four of them together, four of them together, because it's the third of the week, I, we flow in the Spirit of God, so I'm going to merge four of them together, so kindly walk with me, if you have a pen, although this uh, this uh, broadcast will be there online, it will be there in, in other social media platforms, so that you can access it slowly in your, in, your, in, your, in your free time, at whatever time you need the download of the Word of God, so I'm going to merge four of them together, Kaidre, uh be ready to receive the Word of God by the grace of God, so we are in number four, we are in number four, and we are being reminded of this thing. So number four reminder of from the Spirit of God is that we are hidden with Christ in God. We are hidden in Christ and, uh, and uh, in God. That's why I'm saying, the Bible says we are seated, we read those scriptures last time, we are seated with Christ in heavenly places. The Bible says that Jesus Christ is seated on the right hand of the Father. Hallelujah. So when God looks at Christ, he sees us inside Christ. Christ. Hallelujah. Oh my God. When, when God, where Jesus is seated this particular morning, when he looks at Christ, he sees me. He sees you inside Christ. Hallelujah. And, and uh, you know, my God, we are hidden with Christ. Hallelujah. In God, we are there. And I want to back that up with the word of God. I've always said it is good to back the word of God, it's, whether it's a prophetic word or no, it's good to back the word uh, with, with the scripture. Scriptures. Kaidri, can, can we go to the Word of God? Take your Bible. Let us go to the Word of God in the book of Colossians, chapter 3. I'm already there. So, Colossians chapter 3, verse 1 to 4. The Bible says, If you are raised with Christ, seek those things which are above, where Christ is sitting. Hallelujah. At the right hand of God. Amen. Now, set your mind on things above, not on things on earth. Hallelujah. Now, listen to verse 3. We have been handling this before. So, I'm repeating the same scriptures, some scriptures, so that we can get, you know, that portion of the word of God that we are in. You know, we are, when we are Jesus as is we are hidden in him hallelujah we are hidden with christ in god so we are there we we cannot be separated as long as you're born again you cannot be separated with the two amen we are hidden we are already in christ hallelujah now listen to this for you died and you live uh, and your life is hidden with christ in god hallelujah are you seeing this verse 3 of Colossians chapter 3 the bible says for you died when christ died on the cross hallelujah we died with him and the bible says for you died and your life is hidden with christ in god Ramahandorobozia. Hallelujah, my God. When Christ, who is our life, appears, he is our life. Hallelujah. Despite being a human being, despite the country you come from, the less you belong to, as long as you are born again, you are hidden. Hallelujah. Your life is hidden with Christ in God. Now, the life you are living now is already hidden. Hallelujah. With Christ in God. That means we are not mysteriously here. We are, oh my God, hallelujah. God is aware of our being on earth. Despite the issues and the handles, they are all in the world right now. Our lives are hidden with the Christ in God. Hallelujah. My brethren, my Jehovah God, that means your security is assured. My Jehovah God, that means every good thing that my Jehovah is in Christ, that is with Christ, you are a partaker of that. I have always said by the grace of God that whatever Jesus is enjoying in heaven and whatever he enjoyed down here when he was walking like the way we are walking physically, we are partakers of that. Hallelujah. Jesus has finished anything that he was supposed to be working again is actually the thank you Holy Spirit. I hear the Spirit of God say you know, every ordinance that was written against us, the Bible says uh, that had writing, Jesus dealt with it. He, he destroyed it. He deleted it. Hallelujah.
Hallelujah. So it does not matter the traditions of your people, the culture of your people. As long as you are born again, you are set apart. You, are, you, you no longer have a life. It is not your life. Your life is hidden with Christ in God. That means anything we do, my brethren, we are supposed to be getting the download from our kingdom. I woke up this morning and the Spirit of God was reminding me that every kingdom has rules and regulations. In our country, we have something we call a constitution. And this is the, the, the guideline of how you're supposed to live and behave as a citizen of that country. Now, we are anointed as servants of God, but then we belong to this country, Kenya. I'm a Kenyan for those who are watching me from other countries. And that is it. There are things I cannot do. Hallelujah. There are things we cannot do. There are, there are places you cannot go. There are, you know, there are rules and regulations, you know, hallelujah, that, that, uh, that are reading us. Hallelujah. And showing us the way as citizens of this particular country. When I go to another country, there are rules and regulations there. They may not be all the same. Hallelujah. That's our kingdom where we are seated with Christ in heaven and places. We, even as you live right now, because our lives are hidden with Christ in God, we are supposed to be living that life according to the standards that are set in our kingdom. Hallelujah. So, I have been requesting everybody who comes into contact with me, my God, don't just do your business now. You're going to struggle. Don't just handle your marriage like the marriage of your uncle, your father. Hallelujah. Kindly lift up your eyes to heaven and ask your father in heaven, how do, I, how do, how do we handle marriages in our kingdom? How do we handle children in our kingdom? How do, do, we, do we do businesses here on earth in our kingdom? Get the downloads of, your, of our kingdom. Let us that charge. Let us not just live. Let us be acquainted. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I hear the Spirit of God say, let the church arise to the occasion and be acquainted with the pros. Hallelujah. The cons and the pros. My God, the do's and the don'ts of our kingdom. Hallelujah. And it is going to be such a blessing. And you know, I hear the Spirit of God say, some of the things we are struggling with and some of the things that are causing us pain and struggle in our lives is because we are not laboring to know what, 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 what we are supposed to be doing and how we are supposed to be doing it, when we are supposed to be doing it, and how we are supposed to be doing it, my God, in our kingdom. Hallelujah. Oh my God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Now, oh my God. I love the Holy Spirit. I'm ministering with the Spirit of God here. Now, listen to this church. And my brethren, now if you look at people like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, people like Daniel, people like Joseph, people like Esther who are this king, you know, uh, if you look at all those people, if you, they were human beings like us. That's why I love what the Bible says in the book of Hebrews. You know, uh, you know, the Bible says, uh, you know, Elijah was a man like us. That means he had everything. He had eyes like I do. He had everything like I do. You know, he had some, his, you you know, he, personal fears like we do at times, you know, personal anxieties. That's why he's running from Jezebel. Hallelujah, like we do. But the Bible says, Hallelujah, you know, being a man like us, he was able to do some things extraordinary. Like, oh my God, I, being a man, I love what the Bible says, Elijah, Ramahandolobozia, he was a man like us. Now, that means, my brethren, there is a standard. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I hear the Spirit of God say, the church must, we must know, I'm there, I'm also preaching to myself, that there is a standard that is already raised for our kingdom here on earth, where we are supposed to be operating from. Hallelujah. That's why we are not supposed to be intimidated and affected by what is going on in the world right now. The Bible says that the father of this nation, I mean the father of this world. So the father of this world is in his own businesses. He's operating because it, it, this is his world. Hallelujah. We are on pilgrimage. We are on a, we are sojourning. We don't belong here. Hallelujah. So as long as you are alive, learn how to handle your life according to the set principles of our kingdom. Because what? Number four, our lives are hidden with Christ 
in God. Hallelujah. That's what we have seen in Colossians for those who are coming on board right now. That is what we are, we are, we are reading from the word of God. Uh, Colossians chapter 3 and verse 4. The, uh, and verse 3. For you died and your life is hidden with Christ in God. Your safety is guaranteed. Your provision is guaranteed. So before you panic, Jesus is, should be panicking. Hallelujah. Before you fear, who is supposed to be fearing first? It is Jesus. Hallelujah. You, because you are hidden done with him in God. Ah, thank you, Holy Spirit. Let us look at the word of God in the book of Corinthians, Second Corinthians. Kindly come up with your Bible. Let us look at the word of God. Uh, Second Corinthians, just, just uh, behind there. Uh, Second Corinthians, I have my scriptures ready, so I'm just going to read them. The Bible says Second Corinthians chapter 5, Second Corinthians chapter 5, and uh, verse 19, the Bible says, Wow, that is, that is that God was in Christ reconciling when Jesus was dying. The Bible says that God was in Christ reconciling the world to himself, not imputing their trespasses to them and has committed to us the word of of reconciliation. My concentration is that part A, or that first portion of that scripture. It is a continuation. Paul is speaking something. It's a continuation. But the Bible says that is that God was in Christ when Jesus was dying on the cross. You know, God was, you know, the Bible says that, that God uh, was in Christ. God was in Christ. So when Jesus is finishing what he's finishing on the cross at Calvary for us, God was in him. Hallelujah. Reconciling us. Amen. So, oh my God, this life we live now, we already reconciled. And the Bible is saying, I don't have much time to go to many details because I just want to pass for the word of God that God was in Christ reconciling us to himself. Hallelujah. And he has also given us the ministry of reconciliation. Now, that is number four. That, that means we are hidden with Christ in God. Hallelujah. Despite where the race you belong to, despite the country you come from, just to know as long as you are a believer in Jesus Christ, your life is hidden with Christ in God. That, that one summarizes, it's a whole sermon by itself. Hallelujah for many years. Amen. Number five, I want us to, I said I'm going to merge four things together this morning so that we can complete uh, this particular section of what God want us, wanted us to hear for some time. Hallelujah. So number five, the Bible says, we are sons of God. Hallelujah. Oh my God. That means we are coheres. If we are hidden with Christ in God, that means even now, where Christ is seated, we are coheres. Jesus is a joint favor, protection, and all those things. Whatever Jesus is a joint, whatever he joined down here, because we also died with him, and whatever he's a joint in heaven, we are partakers of that because he is our elder brother. Hallelujah. Our inheritance is assured. Hallelujah. So the Bible says, the Bible shows us, number five, we are sons of God. The Bible says, as many as believed in him, they were given the power to become sons of God. I want to read Galatians chapter 3. Galatians chapter 3 and verse 26, just to show you as some portion of scripture, the Bible says, for, for you are all sons of God through faith in Jesus Christ. So as long as you are a believer, I have always said, my son, I have a, a son, I have a son who is taller than me. Now listen to this, my son does not have to do so many things for me to make sure that he has a shelter and a, I mean a, to have a roof, you know, or shelter in his life. Hallelujah. He has, does not have to do so many things to, to eat food. It is actually, he does not even need to fast and pray for, for provision, for protection, for all those things. Anything that God enables enables me to do as a parent because I'm also dependent on God. Now, th that boy will just enjoy automatically. He does not go to, to the mountain to, 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 uh, so that I can provide blanket for, for his covering, you know, clothes for, for him to wear, for his body, a shoe. No, hallelujah. It is automatically, as long as my father in heaven has provided for me this boy without prayer and fasting, hallelujah, without even decreeing and declaring, he will automatically enjoy that. The Bible is saying in verse 26, for you are all sons of God, as long as you are a believer. That means my brethren, hallelujah, your inheritance in God is sure by Christ. Hallelujah. 
And uh, that's why, uh, now, thank you, Holy Spirit. I hear the Spirit of God say, some of these things will just automatically flow, you know, without no struggle, as long as your attachment with Christ is all right, because your life is hidden with Christ in God. So when, when your life is, is connected, remains connected there, that's why, thank you, Holy Spirit, that's why the Spirit of God is reminding me some scriptures in the book of John chapter 15. Now, when you remain grafted in as a vine, hallelujah, you know, we, we, the Bible says we in uh, you remain grafted in the vine because you are a branch hallelujah then that flow from the roots it is going to bring provision in your life and everything else you you are supposed to be enjoying as a branch that is attached to the vine hallelujah without no struggle so this particular morning i said it is morning in my country make sure your attachment to your father is all right if there is something you're supposed to be laboring for in this hour in the world is to remain so attached to your father in heaven. Hallelujah. So the Bible says, for you are all sons of God through faith. If you are a believer in Jesus Christ, you, are, you have qualified to be a son of God. Hallelujah. That is, that is just the portion of the scripture I wanted, I wanted us to read, to read. Ephesians chapter 2. Just ahead there, Ephesians chapter 2 and verse 13, the Bible says, Ephesians chapter 2 and verse 13, the Bible says, But now in Christ Jesus, you who were once, uh, you who were once, um, uh, you who were once far off have been brought near by the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. We were far off. We did not know God, we did not know truth, but the minute you believe in Jesus Christ, the Bible is showing us, Paul is showing us, we have been brought near. Hallelujah. So we are not very far. My God, we are not going to look for, that's why Jesus is showing the Samaritan woman. We, you are not going to look for, for God on the mountains. My Jehovah God, Jehovah God, the Bible shows me he endures. The Bible says Christ dwells in us, the hope of God. He is in us. If you look at the prayer Jesus is making for the disciples, he is saying, if you do this and you do that, me and my father will come and abode, you know, we shall come and dwell in you. Hallelujah. So you have your part to pray. Make sure your house is in order. Your house is in order. Make sure your body is laid on the altar as a living sacrifice. Make sure you are pursuing holiness, a life of holiness. Jehovah God, in the name of Jesus, Hallelujah. I have always said, my Jehovah, we, I have neighbors in my life, but if I, if my 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 sons shouted even outside a neighbor's house, I would distinct that the voice of my son, I would distinct. Now, listen to me, my brethren. People are covering up and saying we are praying, we are doing this. But God will only hear the voice of the son. So remain a son. You can turn to your neighbor and tell your neighbor, remain a son. If you are born again, remain a son. Hallelujah. We cannot lower the standard of our faith. This is what we are seeing uh, in, uh, in boldness in the lives of people like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego because they remained fully attached in whichever circumstance. That's why Paul, in the book of Romans, he's asking, what shall separate us from the love of God? Romans chapter 8. Hallelujah. Nothing shall separate us from the love of God. Nakedness, nothing. Nothing, hallelujah, nothing shall separate us. So even nakedness, nothing, rack, nothing. That's why I'm saying, my brethren, remain 24-7. Remain a believer. Remain walking, walking there, walking the path of holiness, walking the path of righteousness. Do your business in righteousness. Don't reward the God. Let everybody compromise. Hallelujah. Joshua is declaring. He's making a declaration and he says, sometimes my God, oh my God, I, I know I hear. The heartbeat of Joshua was he was making a declaration. God has shown the children of Israel victories after victories. God has fought for them battles. God has stood with them. Hallelujah. But they were on and off. They keep on falling off. And Joshua is making a declaration and is saying, Choose for yourself today. Rama Handorobozia. Hallelujah. That means my walk with God is very personal. It is very personal. I hear the Spirit of God say, make a deliberate choice. Hallelujah. To be on the side of God if you are caught in the business world. My God, whatever you are doing in that career, in that office, make a deliberate decision that I'm going to be for God. I'm going to live for Him. I'm going to live a holy life. I cannot bribe in my business. I cannot lie. I, oh my God, I will honor God with my all. Hallelujah. 
make a deliberate decision that's what i'm hearing in the spirit you are a son so make a deliberate decision to be on the side of god 24 7 hallelujah my god when they cut you and they get a portion of your blood they will see jesus in it hallelujah when they look for jesus my god in your speech when they listen to your speech the bible says let our speech be seasons with the with the sword hallelujah let everything about us reflect him he's our pattern he's our role model because our life are hidden with him in God. Hallelujah. So number six, I said I'm bunching, I'm merging four things today by the grace of God. So let us look at number six. The Bible says, I mean, uh, number six, we are created in Christ. The Bible says everything was created by him and in him. We are created in Christ. So as as as, as, as Christ was, um, you know, because he's eternal, he was there from the beginning, from the book of Genesis. God says, let us, you know, he's speaking, let us make a man you know let us make a man in our own image so he's speaking he's speaking to them hallelujah he's speaking to jesus he's speaking to the holy spirit let us make a man so the bible shows shows me we are created in christ everything that is created was created by him and in him hallelujah so the bible says i'm going to be very fast uh the the bible says in the book of ephesians for those who are coming on Ryan kaidre we are being reminded the, the lord is reminding us of this the things that we are supposed to be reminded on hallelujah because of this hour where we are god desires that we be reminded of some things in the name of jesus thank you my brethren from mauritius god bless you mama thank you god bless you other nations god bless you let us come up come up with your bible can we look at the word of god so we are saying we we are we are created we are created you know our being here our existence here on earth it is coming from christ it is it is coming from that flow hallelujah so the bible says ephesians chapter 2 and verse 10 the bible says for we are his workmanship hallelujah created in christ hallelujah oh my god for good works which God pre pre prepared before hard that we should walk in them. Are you hearing this? So we are not just walking. We are not just living. We are not just here. And that's why I'm requesting the church. Kaidre, I hear the spirit of God say, do not lower the standard. There are so many things that we are in some dark hours in the world. Do not lower the standard. Don't just do anything because everybody is doing it. Don't just go places because everybody is going. No, you are not everybody. You are a son of God. My God, I see the children of authorities like presidents and head of states in the nations. You cannot just fight them anywhere. They are not just scattered anywhere. That's why we are seeing, thank you Holy Spirit, this particular boy called the prodigal son in this parable. The Bible shows me when he removed himself from the presence of the father he suffered setbacks and hitbacks hallelujah there was some brokenness there was a vacuum in his life that he needed him to be reconciled back to the presence of the father hallelujah now that is it many of us are struggling in our marriages in our businesses in our careers because we have removed ourselves from the presence of the father let us be reconciled that's what paul is speaking to us this morning we have we were already reconciled when jesus was hanging on the cross we were, he, he were, god was reconciling us that particular action of jesus giving his breath on the cross god was reconciling us to himself through that hallelujah hallelujah so the bible says we are his workmanship hallelujah created in christ jesus for good works which god prepared before hard that we should walk in them hallelujah so we have a pattern of walking in we have a ready pattern of our kingdom to walk in in the marriage in your business in your house in your neighborhood we have a pattern as workmanship of god we have a pattern to follow hallelujah the bible says ephesians chapter 3 Ephesians chapter 3 and verse 11. So I'm, I'm there. I'm just going to the scriptures. The Bible says, according to the internal purpose which he accomplished in Christ our Lord. There is the internal purpose which God has already accomplished in Christ. Hallelujah. It is already a done deal. 
Hallelujah. It is, it is eternal. It is an internal purpose. So God having Jesus Christ died on the cross, I mean dying on the cross and handling all that painful moment, it was for an internal purpose. It was, the Bible shows me, it is already accomplished. So our being here on earth, it is already a done deal. That's why Jesus confidently said on the cross, it is finished. Even our eternal purpose is, uh, is already a done deal in the presence of the Lord in the name of Jesus. Philippians chapter 2 and verse 5. Philippians chapter 2 and Philippians. Philippians chapter 2 and verse 5. The Bible says, let this might be in you which was in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let that might. Now, if you look at the lifestyle of Jesus, he saying, Father, not to my will. I only do what I hear. My father, do I only say what I hear him say? No, that is it. So in the, that is a pattern of our kingdom. That is the internal pattern of our kingdom. You don't just say things. You don't just do things. There is the will of God to be fulfilled in your life or to be accomplished in your life. And I, I'm requesting the church, my Jehovah Redeemer, this is where the distinction must come forth. Hallelujah. Because we are not just living. There are things, we, we, we belong to, the, to our tribes, yes, that's where we were born, that's where you found yourself, you belong to that nation, you belong to that place. But let me tell you the truth, God has picked you out from that place. So the traditions of men, the religion of men, and whatever uh, your people do traditionally, you are not a part of that kingdom. So in everything, I hear the Spirit of God say, in everything, seek me, consult me, know my might. Let the mind that was in Christ be in you. Hallelujah. Because your life is already hidden with him in, uh, in God in Christ. Hallelujah. Philippians, Philippians chapter 2 and verse 5. We have already read that. So Philippians chapter 3. Philippians chapter 3 and verse 3. The Bible says, For we are the, for we are the circumcision who worship God in his spirit. Hallelujah. Rejoice in Christ and have no confidence in the flesh. Hallelujah. So the Bible Paul is saying, we are the circumcision who worship God in his spirit. Hallelujah. That, you know, circumcision is a matter of getting rid of a part of the flesh. That means dying to self, coming out of the work of the flesh, and purposing to remain grafted, you know, to remain connected as, 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 as a branch in the vine so that you are not able to, go, to fulfill the work of the flesh. So the Bible, the Bible is showing us we are created in Christ. Christ. Hallelujah. So let us have his might. Hallelujah. So let us do things the way he did. Let him be our role model. Let us copy his life. And it is going to be so peaceful. And it is going to be, you know, we are going, thank you Holy Spirit. I hear the Spirit of God say we are going to operate here on earth from a platform of peace and rest. Hallelujah. Because in us is a prince of peace. Jesus is a prince of peace. Hallelujah. So every, when everybody is panicking, when everybody is, is, is getting worried, in us there is no worry, there is no panic, because our lives are already hidden in, with the Christ in God. Hallelujah. <laughs> so number seven, I said imagine four things so that we can finish this part, uh, portion of our of the word that God wanted us to hear. So the other thing is that the word of God, number number seven, we have been looking, we have been uh, being reminded of the things that God wants us to be reminded, even as the children of God in the in the world right now, so that we don't just live, we don't just say things, we don't just do things. Hallelujah. So number seven, the word of God is there for our spiritual Lord map. The word of God. Actually, thank you, Holy Spirit. The Spirit of God is reminding me. One time David is confessing and saying, the word of God, you know, your word is the right unto my path and the lamb and to my feet. Hallelujah. So the word of God is there for our spiritual roadmap. And when you have you have spiritually been, uh, been guided, then your physical will have order, will have guidance. Because the Bible shows me the spiritual will always determine the physical. The Bible says, I know I have always mentioned this scripture. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I love it because it is it is for now. The Bible says in Isaiah 30 and verse 21, in those days, and now we are saying in these days, when you turn either to the right or to the left, there shall be a voice behind you telling you this is the way go in it. Now, this is where we are. Any side you turn in your life, in your marriage, whenever you want to talk, any side of your life, the voice of God is there. That is the Holy Spirit. 
Hallelujah. Telling you, giving you direction. Hallelujah. So the word of God is there as our spiritual roadmark. And I just want to read a portion of the scripture in the book of Timothy, 2 Timothy. You know, uh, Paul admonishing the son Timothy, 2 Timothy chapter 3 and verse 15. You know, you can read that. Hallelujah. You can begin from verse 10. Hallelujah. Listen to this. Let us read from verse 10. We are in 2 Timothy chapter 3 and from verse 10. Let us read quickly. For you have carefully followed my doctrine, manner of life, purpose, faith, long-suffering, love, perseverance, pre uh, persecutions, afflictions which happened to me at Antioch and Iconium, uh, at Restra, what persecution I endured. And out of them all, the Lord delivered me. Now, Paul is admonishing the, the son. Yes, and all who desire to live godly life in Christ Jesus will suffer persecutions. Are you seeing this church? Second Timothy uh, chapter 3 and uh, verse 12. The word of God is very clear. So some of you are crying in vain. The Bible says, yes. All who desire to live godly in Christ Jesus will suffer persecutions. So some of the hit backs and some of the things that are breaking your heart is a part of, of, of your work in faith. Hallelujah. But even men and imposters will grow worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. But you must continue. Now listen to this verse 14. But you must continue in the things which you have learned and been assured of, knowing from whom you have learned them. You must continue. If you read from verse 10, Paul is showing the, the, the son that you have carefully followed my doctrine. Hallelujah. This is a teaching of the word of God. If you look at the word of God in the book of Acts chapter 2, my Jehovah, the Bible says this church, the brethren, they were, they were, they were, they were concentrated and they were given in to the, to the doctrine of the apostles, to the breaking of bread. That is the word of God. Hallelujah. The Bible says, you know, the Bible says, all scriptures is given. Uh, uh, verse 15, the Bible says, and that from, you, from, from childhood, you have known the holy scriptures. You know, what is giving uh, Paul assurance of admonishing the, the son and knowing that even after me, you are going to make it because from your childhood, you have known the scriptures. That is the word of God. Hallelujah. So why is Timothy not able to be deviated, you know, as a young man? Because what? From his childhood, he has known the scriptures. And I'm requesting the parents who are born again, let us teach our children the word of God. Let us not leave our children to Sunday school teachers, not to teachers in school. Let us teach our children the word of God. Let us teach. Take time. Teach your children. Sit down with them for 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 30 minutes, every day. Teach that your children the word of God. Hallelujah. Teach them. Run, teach them even how to read the word of God for themselves. Let them read and ask them, what do you understand with this? Let us teach. The Bible says in the book of Proverbs, train your children in the ways of the Lord. And even when they grow up, they'll never depart from these ways. Hallelujah. So Paul is saying, and from your child you have learned the, the Holy Scriptures, which are able to make you wise for salvation. So the wisdom is not even in the school where we are taking our children of this life. Wisdom of living in this world, no. It is gotten from the teaching of the Scriptures. Hallelujah, which, uh, which are able to make you wise for salvation through faith which is in Christ Jesus. And Paul continues in verse 16 to say, All scriptures is given by inspiration of God, and it is profitable for doctrine, hallelujah, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that a man of God may be complete, that are equipped for every good work. Hallelujah. So you cannot be equipped for any good work, even in your marriage, everywhere, unless you have the word of God. So the word of God, just that particular portion of the scripture, from childhood, this particular young man is equipped to the word of God. So even when he grows up, as a man of God is teaching him and admonishing him and working with him, receiving the impact he is able to maintain that and we see even after the father in the Lord Paul was wrong God this young man was able to continue with the ministry of the father hallelujah the word of God is there for our spiritual roadmap 
It will help you to know how to handle your marriage as a born again person, as a Christian, how to deal with your children, how to do your business, and some of the characters people are struggling with the work of the flesh. It will be the thing of the past in your life in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. In conclusion, I want to read the word of God I've had in the Spirit of God this morning. Let us go to the uh, to the the, the epistle, the, the first epistle of John. The first epistle of John. I am doing the conclusion. Hallelujah. For those who are in Nairobi, kindly join up with us today. We have prayers from 5 to 7. Kindly let us join up and pray in the name of Jesus. Our numbers are there. You are going to see our numbers and our contacts so that you, that you, can, so that you can reach out to us if you want to come and pray. Let us join up and pray. Don't just live alone and don't just be anywhere. Don't just be doing business 24-7 and you have no time for God. You know the Spirit of God woke me up yesterday. Let me say this as the Spirit of God is dropping it to me. People... Christian, the children of God, you have a lot of time looking for money and other things, but you have no time for God. You, we, are busy, we give God very little time and we want him to give us much attention. Let me tell you, the Bible says, if you are, thank you Holy Spirit, I hear the Spirit of God say, if you don't invest in your relationship with God, there is nothing to draw from. If you, are, you have no uh, banking, you have not deposited anything in your bank, even if you go to the ATM, there will be nothing. There'll be nothing. Hallelujah. So the, the much you invest in God, in your everything, is the much you draw from him. Because the Bible says, Galatians chapter 6 and verse 7, God is not mocked. Do not be deceived. God is not mocked. Whatsoever a man is soweth, you cannot reap what you have not sowed. Hallelujah. So uh, the, 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 the press together, you know, the running over, you know, press together, running over and overflowing, that is it. It, it, it will come from what you have sowed. Not just decreeing, declaring, no. Ah, hallelujah. So the Bible says, in the book of uh, the epistles, the, the first epistle of John, I'm finishing with this scripture. Hallelujah. The Bible, this is the word God has given me this morning. So it's our rema this morning. Even after I've reminded you the things that you needed, well, we needed, I'm also part of the church, we needed to be reminded. So we, we don't just live. We don't just live. We don't just panic and follow what has been reported in media houses. We, we have, you know, the red pattern of our kingdom in the name of Jesus. So the Bible says, listen to this. Beloved, do not believe every spirit. So I, I want to leave that and I want to go down to verse 4 because that is my concentration in the spirit. You are of God, ritual children, and have overcome them because he who is in you is greater than he who is in the world. Hallelujah. So that's what I heard in the spirit of God this morning. You, we are of God. Hallelujah. And I want to finish there. That is enough. Now, I don't have time to tell you that this God is Jehovah Jireh. This God is, is El Shaddai. This God is Tishkendu. This God is Lohi. This God is our Shama. This God is Lafa. Hallelujah. I don't have time. The Bible is saying, we are Rama Handorobozia. We are Love God. So as you get out of your house, go to your business, go in boldness. Know that you are Love God. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. I want to encourage you this morning, despite what is going on in your country just to know as long as you are born again you are all of God and anytime you call the father can understand and hear your voice because you belong to him just make sure as a son of God your connectivity is not tampered with my God I hear the spirit of God say guard your connection with me guard your connection with your father guard your relationship with your father my God remain there remain attached remain hooked up there Hallelujah. What I hear the Spirit of God say, whatever it costs, whatever it costs for, remain connected to your Father, no matter what, and you're going to enjoy all what is in Christ for your life, because our lives are hidden with Christ in God in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And oh my God, ha, that is enough. My brethren, my spirit is overwhelmed. That is enough. The Lord has woken me up with a statement. First epistle of John chapter 4, the Bible is saying, verse 5, the first portion, just that first portion, we are of God. We little children, we are of God. Hallelujah. We are of our Father. Hallelujah. So anybody pursuing you, anybody trying to mess up with you, the powers, I, I thank God. You know, the Bible says that Jesus dealt, he, 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 he destroyed, you know, the principle. Parities, the powers and the rulers of darkness, and not only that, 
any had that had writing that had been written you know against our lives the bible says he brought it out he destroyed it he deleted it that had writing anything of your that's why my god he hung on the cross he became a curse for us that's why my god i say the people who are dealing with the generational curses my god as long as you are born again that is not your portion that is not your portion hallelujah let us not waste our time and energy on things that god has already dealt with them through christ on our behalf because our lives are hidden with the christ in god hallelujah oh my god what a consolation what a comfort we are of god hallelujah oh my god this is the god who is the creator of the heavens and the earth he's the god who owns the earth and the fullness therein he is the god who was he's the god who is he's the god who is eternal hallelujah he's the god who is able to do that which no man can do if you are sick and you're watching me and you're going to watch this um ministration from wherever my god i'm talking about jehovah rafa i'm talking about jehovah jaila i'm talking about the god who is able who sees what no man can see who who is who has your life at his at, you know at his fingertips my god of all glory and whatever he has preordained for your life as long as you are hidden with christ in him it is going to come to pass no matter what in the name of jesus so forget everything about the past just know this particular morning it is morning in my country you are of god and if you're going to watch this and you're not born again or you may have fallen short of the glory of god fallen short of the grace of god kindly like the prodigal son faster kindly be concerned back because what God is doing right now, the bread of children will not be given to the dogs. Hallelujah. It is only for the remnant of his people in the name of Jesus. So preservation, protection, and what is in God, it's only for his children in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Ha, I just want to finish there. May the Lord bless you. And may the Lord watch over you. My God, enjoy the season of an overflow everywhere. It is an overflow. It's an all-out overflow in the name of Jesus. God bless you. I just want to finish this day. I have nothing else to add. God bless you.